People who love Italian sports cars have a soft spot in their heart for the Fiat 124 Spider. The original came out way back in the mid-1960s as a fun, affordable, and absolutely gorgeous little car. Well, Fiat just launched a new car bearing the 124 Spider name, and they hope it can carry on as the spiritual successor to the original. While it's based on the Mazda MX-5 Miata and built in Japan, Italian designers played a big role in giving it a more European look, sound, and feel. And to be clear, starting with Miata Bones is no sin. The MX-5 is one of the best roadsters ever made, so using its platform as a starting point for an Italian-styled sports car is a genius move on Fiat's part. Heck, German and British-looking versions of the Miata would be awesome, too. The more Miata flavors, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Fiat made enough changes to give this car its own distinct vibe, most noticeably by putting a Fiat turbocharged power plant under the hood in place of the Miata's normally aspirated and slightly less powerful Mazda engine. That gives it the most affordable turbocharged sports car in America crown. Boy, is it fun to drive. The 1.4 liter multi-air turbo is a hoot under acceleration, making 160 horsepower and emitting a resonant, but politely snorting note from its tailpipe. The suspension is tuned to allow for a little less body roll than its Miata cousin, giving you a firm, flatter feel that's more closely in line with what many drivers expect from a Roadster. You can order it with an automatic transmission, but if I were a dictator, I'd send you to jail for doing that. Please don't do it. The much better fit for this car is the six-speed manual offering short, direct, toggle-switch-like shifts that make you feel much more in control and engaged with the vehicle. And that ought to be the whole reason you consider a car like this in the first place. Pricing starts at $24,995 for the Classica version. If you want a more luxurious ride, you can get the Lusso for $28,845. And if you want a sportier, slightly more powerful version, you can get the Abarth for $28,195. And that, hands down, is the one I'd pick.